get ready five seconds sir at the outset i would like to say that some of the honorable members who took part in the debate criticized the way in which some of the labor laws were enforced i was very much surprised when one honorable member said that the present state of things was not in any way better than what it was some years ago in this connection i should like to tell the house that we have progressed very far from where we were some years ago i have no doubt that every honorable member of this house will remember that this legislature has passed some useful laws they will remember the laws which make provision to relieve the difficulties of the shop assistants and hospital employees they are two important pieces of legislation so far as the non power factories act is concerned it contains what has been done by the government of india now in the factories act so i claim that tamil nadu has been taking necessary steps to introduce legislation for the welfare of labor whether it be in big factories or in factories which do not employ power to the extent i claim that the state of affairs has improved considerably now coming to the general condition of labor whether it be from the point of view of wages or other immunities the laws that have been passed are not allowed to remain on paper but they are enforced in practice we have today a large staff of factory inspectors they go about and inspect the various factories i can inform the honorable members that in addition to them there are three women inspectors to look after the welfare of women and young workers this is a step in the direction of improvement from what it was a long time ago so i should like the honorable members to remember that things are not as they were before and that we have been making progress gradually not only in the matter of welfare of labor in industry but also in the matter of agricultural labor the government have been trying to do their best for instance i would like to refer to the press note that has been issued by the government today about the assignment of house sites to agricultural labor in addition to that as honorable members would have seen from the papers this morning the honorable the chief minister has appealed to the landlords to come forward and see that those who are working for them are given the necessary house sites and that they are not made to suffer in any way with regard to housing i am trying to illustrate how we have been trying to do our best because it is not only a matter for the landlords alone but for the government also so side by side with appealing to the landlords the government also must do their part and give the lead in the matter in regard to the industrial disputes in the state it has been mentioned by some honorable members that the police have been helping the management more than labor so the honorable members have suggested that in the matter of industrial disputes the police should not be there with reference to this i would like to bring to the notice of the honorable members that it is not question of the management and labor alone but there is also the question of the general peace of society which has to be preserved it is not a question of struggle between these two classes alone letter dated 4th march 1980 from the manager indian bank anna salai madras to thiru r gopalan mailapur madras dear sir we acknowledge receipt of your letter of the third instant 
we are glad to furnish the information required by you we take this opportunity to thank you for your kind inquiry as you are aware our bank is one of the premier banks in the country we have several branches spread all over the country and also abroad we have the largest number of customers in view of the fact that our bank provides all sorts of facilities to our customers it is also a matter for satisfaction that we offer the highest rates of interest on all kinds of deposits as far as possible in this connection we enclose here with a pamphlet which mentions the various particulars that may be required by you the officials in any of our branches will be able to clear any doubts that you may have in this regard you are always welcome for a meeting with us and we will be only too glad to supply you further information we wish to inform you that our bank is also interested in the national economy we are interested in helping small agriculturist whenever necessary we grant loans to them at a low rate of interest to carry on their agricultural operations without any difficulty we look forward to your encouragement yours faithfully